Good morning, children. I am Mrs. Alka Hambade. Today in English, we are going to do a new lesson, Storm in the Garden. Now, this is a snail, a small snail, Sunu Sunu is the name of the snail. And one day he decides to go and meet his friends. The ants are his friends. Sunu Sunu the snail was visiting the friends. The ants, they climbed all over him. He he he. They climbed under him. He he he. So they were enjoying and playing with each other. Like you go in the evening to play with your friends. Same way, Sunu Sunu went to play with his friends. And they were the ants. Suddenly, a great white light crashed through the clouds. Sunu Sunu quickly pulled in his head, pulled in his tail and sat very still. He was scared. And the moment he, you also, when you hear the thundering sound, you also get scared, isn't it? Uh, the same way Sunu Sunu got scared and he pulled his head, his tail, everything inside the shell. The sky grew dark and the crows flew past. Ka, ka, ka is the sound that the crows make and they were flying in the dark sky because they were also scared they thought it has become night night and now they have to go back home rush back home go home sunu sunu the ants cried out hurry hurry your mother will worry so his friends ants were good friends so the, he they advised him to go to his mother Sunu Sunu went to his mother where she sat under a stone near the wall and she was under the rock. It was the biggest storm Sunu Sunu had ever seen. He had never seen such storm. So, but he didn't get wet. Do you know why he didn't get wet? Yes, because he had a shell to cover his body. So he put his head and everything inside the shell. Mother was very happy. You can see she was very happy to see Sunu Sunu back home. Now Sunu Sunu wanted to tell mother that this was the first time he had seen such a big storm. So Sunu Sunu said to his mother, Ever seen? Sunu Sunu didn't get wet. Do you know why? Yes. Because it had a shell on its body. Sonu Sonu said to his mother, I heard the wind blow. Ooh. I saw the trees sway. She, she. I saw the lightning flash, zuck, zuck. I heard the thunder roll, grum, grum. I heard the rain fall, sita, sita, pita, pita. I heard the water drip, plip. Identify these sounds. Yes, it's the phone ringing. Yes, that's the doorbell. You enjoyed the lesson, so you're clapping. Sonu Sonu was a good boy, isn't it? He listened to his friends and he always obeyed his mother too. Let's study about something about ants. Ants are insects. All of you know? 
they also have six legs there are red in color black in color big big in size small in size and they always you will see them they live in a group generally the house of the ants is known as ant hill and underground deep they have big colonies so ants live in a colony they are very hard working very laborious even they keep collecting the food for the future also and you must have seen them they are very disciplined too you'll always see them one is going the other follows uh, that ant and they keep go moving in a line the leader guides them the direction and all of them follow him so that's why they are very disciplined don't we teacher don't, doesn't your teacher tell you that go in line see how ants go in line so you also go in line walk in line about the snails all of you must have seen snail isn't it they are very slimy and their body is also very soft which they need to be covered with shell to so that they are protected because of their softness so nails snails live under the rock logs and in other dark places also then some snails also you find they live near the river in the water like they eat plants that's why they are known as herbivores but they crawl very slowly they move totally on their abdomen the abdomen muscles help them to move you can see that snail moving we should always listen to our elders you know like how sonu sonu listen to his friends and mother we should also listen to all our elders like teachers your parents we should meet and talk to our friends regularly you all go also go in the evening to play with your friends now due to covid you are not able to go otherwise you also talk to them you like to meet them you should do that regularly you can now you can talk to them on phone also enjoy the nature and hear the different sounds like flow of river the rainfall then the sounds of uh, the tree swaying she she sound then the drop of water that sound you can hear then the sound of the wind so you should enjoy this sounds of nature also the birds how they chirp the animals which make sound just enjoy them and be with it thank you have a nice day good morning children today we are going to learn about more about the sources of water for the lesson rain so the first source uh, we will be discussing is about the rain r a i n rain so through rain also we get water next is pond a small collection of water like you have a pond in the school then in the parks also we have ponds and there are lotus flowers and golden fish are there in it so this is p o n d pond this is another source of water lake is a big form of pond and uh, we do boatings nenital also you must have seen a lake then khadakwasla also we got a lake so we do boating this lake. and this lake water is also used for drinking by cleaning it also this is the river river like you know ganga river is there godavari river is there so they flow from high region to the low region so rivers also we do boating 
then this is the ocean ocean and sea they have the salt water salt is taste so we cannot drink this water but fish and big big animal uh, uh, like whales and dolphins sharks they live in oceans so we have indian ocean bay of bengal and arabian sea these all are around us so this is a tap water so through lake the water is cleaned by adding some chemicals and uh, removing the bacteria and then pure form of water it reaches to our tanks and from tanks it comes to our house so these are the natural sources of water ocean lake ponds rivers streams this man has not made this given all given by the nature god so we have to remember one thing that we have to save water save every drop of water because it is very precious and that's all for this so different kinds of sources we did even the wells are there in the villages we have well that is also there so we have to save each and every drop of water that's all for today's lesson thank you